What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you four crazy mods, or five rather, that will make your Minecraft 1.20 fabric experience absolutely crazy. I'd highly recommend using these mods as they will really change the way that you play the game when it comes to FPS. These are really powerful. Now, this is for the 1.20 version of Minecraft and fabric. If you don't already have fabric installed, you'll find a link in the description down below for a guide on how to install it. When it is done installing, you can hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog. In here, type in percentage app data percentage slash dot Minecraft and click it when you see it available, then click OK. Now our Minecraft install folder has popped up and you should see a mods folder. If not, you'll need to create it, then double click on it and you should see Fabric API. Once again, if you don't, in the description down below, you'll find the link to a Fabric API download page. Simply click download here wait for it to download and move it into this folder here. Now when it's done, we can get to installing some mods that will really change your experience for the better. Some of these have moved since my previous video showing you how to download and install these from Cursed Forge to ModRinth and another site. Anyways, all you need to do is head to the Sodium download link down below, look for featured versions over here and click 1.20. Otherwise, click See All and scroll up, select the latest 1.20 release here download. We'll wait for it to finish. We'll save the file into our downloads and we can close the tab. Then lithium is the next one. We'll download the latest version here. Once again, see all. Currently, the latest version is 1.19.4, but it should work for 1.20. I'll download it and save it too. Then phosphor. This one's on CurseForge. You can click download on the far right here and just wait for it to download. If you're watching this in the future, you may need to select 1.20 from the view all game versions. Then Iris Shaders is once again on Modrinth. On the far left, look for 1.20 or see all and choose the latest 1.20 from the top here. Download save. And finally, another mod I like to recommend is WI Zoom, which gives you a similar zooming effect to the Optifine Zoom, which a lot of people, including me, really like. Simply click download here. Otherwise, once again, view all on the far right next to game versions, and you should be able to download the 1.20 from here. It's a bit difficult to see, but hovering, we do eventually see 1.20, download and download. All right, so with these five mods downloading, including Fabric API. I'll move these on using Control X to cut and Control V to paste them in my mods folder here. Just like that, we've now installed everything we needed to. All that's left is to fire up Fabric MC 1.20. So I'll open the Minecraft launcher, followed by selecting Fabric 1.20 and play. And we should hopefully see our main menu. Unfortunately, Lithium and Phosphor are currently not available for Minecraft 1.20, but I have included them in this video, as when they are, they're definitely going to help your FPS a huge amount. For now, I'll need to temporarily remove them from my mods folder, so both Lithium and Phosphor, though I would highly recommend downloading them when 1.20 does become available. Anyways, firing it up again with our remaining mods, and there we go, our Minecraft is now started up. I'll head into a single player world here, and we can start customizing our experience for more FPS. Currently, I'm sitting at 130, but we can drastically improve that. So, escape, options, and video settings. Now, this should look a little bit different to what you're used to. Let me just hide all the clutter here. This is our new menu, general quality performance, advanced, and shader packs. Now, in here, you can customize the brightness. I usually raise this to the max, just so you can see well in dim caves, and make sure that VSync is unchecked, as in it's a hollow square. You should always have this disabled, unless you're getting screen tearing where the top and bottom half of your screen don't match up. In that case, enable this. It'll lock your FPS max to the same as your monitor, which should help decrease tearing. It will also increase input latency, so having it off is good. Max frame rate, I'd recommend cranking all the way to the top, otherwise you may be holding yourself back. If you find that things like OBS are struggling to record in the background, you can lower your max frame rate to just below what FPS you're getting. That way you're saving some of your computer for other programs on your computer. Render distance you can lower I'd usually lower this to maybe 12, which is pretty much the default for Minecraft, which should help your FPS quite dramatically. This is probably the biggest effect here, as you can see more as you push this up, but it'll also really eat away at your FPS. 
Then in the bottom right, click apply and we can head to these other tabs here. For graphics, I'd usually leave it as fancy, but you can customize these to lower settings just to improve your FPS further. Speaking of the performance tab here, we can change all of these here if you'd like, but default is the most optimized. Advanced, not really, don't play with these if you don't know what they mean. And finally, shader packs, you can open your shader pack folder and the Iris mod allows you to use them similarly to how Optifine works as well. I'd recommend heading into the options followed by controls tab, followed by keybinds, as we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and we'll see some controls from our mods. First of all, zoom by default is V, but you can change this to, I think, control or C, whatever the default Optifine is, just for a more one-to-one -one experience. Iris right below this allows us to quickly toggle shaders with K and reload them with R if we make any changes. But for the most part, we're really done with settings. Holding V, the zoom key, will do the normal Optifine zoom. While we're holding it, we can scroll down to zoom back and scroll forwards to zoom in. This is quite crazy crazy and you can really go quite far, which is great. When we hit F3, you're seeing that I'm getting 1,100 FPS before I open this, which is a huge improvement from even 200. My FPS has really hit the roof. Once again, you can enable shader packs. I find that I get a much less performance impact when I use them in Sodium and Iris, whereas compared to Optifine, I have a much larger impact of FPS loss. Currently, I don't have any shader packs, so I'm not able to show you, but the difference is quite noticeable when you compare it to Optifine. Anyways, that's really about it for this super quick optimization guide of Minecraft Fabric 1.20. There are, of course, tons of mods, and I'd love to hear about them in the comments down below. So please do let me know, and I'll probably include them in my next video. My name has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.